My circles in hype that began all the way back at 1.9 when Zobros leads on hard demon caught 9 circles. My circles is in level to start with some trick cube, ship, and ball gap leap for reaching the drop. The drop is in the wave at 3 times speed, which was the first at the time for Bloodtick Deco. This Deco lines up a line near the outlines of the structure for a short time and that repeats with itself with different colors that blocks closer to the center of the structure. This usually goes really fast and goes combined with some background flashes. This runs forth into a hype and many levels got released in different colors and NK songs. To this day, this trend is still kind of going on and more levels get released with better visuals, deco, gameplay and even songs from different artists like F777. This now is where I started experimenting with back in 2021 and I tried for a while to become better in until I decided to hold a break from it, AK now. In this video I'm going to tell you the history of my Nine Circles deco, starting with my first Nine Circles level I ever released to the public and ending with a Nine Circles level that's waiting to be finished. Ideas of all levels I talked about, I've talked about are released to the public, can be found in the description of the video. Before I start telling the story, I'll first introduce myself. I'm exploring a Dutch GD player that joined in 2019, starting in the middle of 20 or 2.1. My hardest demon is for now Ultra Drivers by Laser Blitz, but I'm having great progress on Mastermind and Dream Travel, which are both inside demons. In my free time, I'm mainly gaming during autumn and winter, during spring and summer, I'm driving out on my bike with good weather and traveling to different places. The reason I decided to play GD was because I saw other players play it. I started with the light version, the horse level, and it was at the time Luxemad like Adventures. I enjoyed it so much, so I decided to buy it, and here I am now. It all began in 2020. I wanted to learn how to make battle levels. I decided to watch the tutorials until I saw the video from Lamets, in which he teaches the viewer how to make a nice solo level. I watched it and did what he did and even copied the gameplay at, at the beginning. I created a nice singles level, which I couldn't upload because of its difficulty until I found it a couple of times. A couple of months ago, and decided to upload it hacked. The level was never supposed to be rated at the time, so I did it to see how people would react. The level starts with very unbalanced cube gameplay, followed by the ship, which was the hardest of part of the level. Because of the bugs, they have a ball which is the easiest part before the wave. The color of was the same the whole time, and it didn't sink at all. I didn't care about the level 1 uploading, but I didn't know that this piece of shit would become the foundation of the style that I would hold on for some years and maybe even for the rest of my time on. After uploading Sonic Destroyer, I watched some non circles levels, including Sonic Wave. This level gave me the inspiration for some deco in the next nice circles level I would make. This level was in its first version called Injury, but it got later got the name Injured. This level looks in case of colors more similar to nice circles. The song was fractured by Ruckus AK NK. Everything before the wave was easier in terms of gameplay compared to Sonic Destroyer. The visuals were also better, more adeco and more colors. Still, it was not a level I would be very proud of. The wave is still harder than the rest, especially the end where you have a very tight corridor which is almost impossible. The spin parts are also really bad and nerf too much. Nerf wouldn't be even needed, because if the level had not the spin parts, it, it, it was just better. I even if the, if the gameplay was just bad without spam. It's still better than Sonic Destroyer and also part of the journey to the best night circle deco I made where I will talk about at the end of the video. GD. Now I make a jump into the future to the end of 2020. I decided to make a new night circles level similar to Injured but with different song, difficulty and colors. This was entering circles before it got renamed a week later after I finished the gameplay. This level was much harder and the hard hardest Night Circus level I made at the time. It was extreme demon and had weird gameplay. The old version was literally the same as Injured, but was di but with different blocks and colors. The deco was also slightly better, it had much more bushes or something. The game was also improved a bit in case of sync. This gameplay was still ass after seeing the Night deco finished, I had lots of ideas to improve it. This level was not only the biggest improvement of Deco, but it was also the sort of collab which is still in the works to this day called Galaxy Beam. I started experimenting in 2021 and that is where the magic started and it transformed really to the Galaxy Beam which is today still in the works. 
During the first weeks of Team Iberian, which was Team Arginel at the time, I revealed Skyfort, an old nice service leveled by me with big gameplay. I redone the gameplay and deco and even found a new nice service effect style without watching videos that teach me how to do that style. This style is normal, my circus effect but on every line, line I don't know how to call it, and faster, so it looks like kind of wavy. I added that to the old level with normal speed and looked better than injured, still worse than Galaxy B old. It was still a, a major um, a major prestation, because the level looked way better than the old Skyfort. In February 2021 I was born and copied and public nice service level layout from GD. This one was even wor deemed it worth in case of difficulty, so easy to verify if becoming a full and finished soul level. I used this layout to try the Arctic Lights type of Night Circus effect. I turned down it for a small part of the wave. It looked fine, but I wanted to see what would happen if the planning box was checked. It looked amazing and, and made the background similar to the one of the Arctic Lights, but different. Because of the rest of the cable was not used, I decided to delete the rest and upload it as a deck test. This version without planning can still be found on my profile. The results of Wave Deco Test were not bad and neither were the ones from Snowy Vortex. It was time to experiment again, but this time I would take the types of Nysox effects from other Paracosm more seriously. I was a fan of blending at the time and thought it would look great, only the gameplay is impossible so it's now online as kind of an open verification. The effect was a great idea, but I have blending was not was it not because it looked too bright right now, so it would like literally just hurt your eyes. The thing was good, the good was good though, but the game was too hard to beat. If it somehow got verified, that only the wave would become top one because the other parts were just like not even demon worth. The level is too hard and bright to play. It was a really important one on my trip to my best deco yet. I'm not gonna talk a lot about this level. It was only on this due to the very idea of bug design. Cosmic Waves was a remake of Sky Invasion, but nerfed with different gameplay and deco in case of used blocks. Only the beginning is similar to Sky Invasion because it got copied from Sky Invasion and nerfed a lot so it was more accessible to play. Also, uh, after the wave, like after the new one, I uh, cut it off and placed some cube parts. This happens, this happens more, multiple times in the level. I kind of for a break. It only filled with triples, so you need, you need to be, be aware of that. There are two other wave parts which like the beginning are similar to like the ones of Succubus Circles. So um, it's not the best level. While Galaxy Beam was in its first early months and the regular was verified, I decided to join in my Circus collab. This level will not get raised in my opinion because even so the level is still not finished and the deck was out best and not really worthy. The part you're seeing now is my old part before I dropped it I got a new part which is already finished. But that's not the last circus effect. This old part was also for experimenting with my circus effect and was very important in the journey to my best my circus level where you can really see how it had impact on. The host was uh, it didn't care a lot about my circus level so I think more that uh, he hosted the color for fun. Fortunately um, he didn't mind uh, bad standards so it was easy to join and he was uh, really happy that I had uh, done at least something. Another wave part of Galaxy Beam, but this time from near August or September. I wanted to totally flip my part. The colors stayed the same, but I added more planning and more blocks, lace on the blocks and many more. I also added some more I deco in the background and some spikes and sauce on the ground. And I also added pixels to recreate stars. That was not bad, but not the best either. This change to like add lasers really, really made my wave part better. Like, it's really like the name was called Galaxy Beam while well, lasers, it really gives you the vibe of Galaxy Beam. I also added like in the background some pulsing lasers, which really simulates the theme. This was really important to me because it was I was very proud of the part at the time. This version is not much different than the pre previous one, but this is the wave before its removal for the big replacement for the nice Nitsocus part of Galaxy Beam. I had some bugs in the middle to structure his planning as well and it actually improved the gameplay and quality. The part is not anymore in, in level because um, it does fit anymore with uh, the song and it gets replaced with better non nice circles deco in gameplay. Here it is, my best nice circles deco. I made this one during Galaxy Beam when someone was doing the ball part in a collab. 
I made a new gameplay with a new song. I wanted to make it tank, and that was a good decision. Added 2.0 spikes with slow rotating gears, electric sparks, and more. I only use blending for the blocks design, but it's not too bright, and that's something you really need to be aware of when adding blending to the level. If you add too much, it gets too bright and too little, and it might also look bad. So don't use it too much. Nastrox's effect was also more synchronized to the song with very good fish on some parts that like it was in the blend in the middle moving on the what you see like see, an effect on the, the outlines of the structures. It really feels like you're in a kind of, kind of core of like a machine or something. The arrows look also really cool. They still need improvement, but it's a good beginning. The wave you see now is still unfinished because it needs background, but even without it still looks amazing, can clearly see. White, it might be my best nice circle deco ever. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I want to thank you for watching this video. It took me a while to make this video, and I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe for more content. At the 50 subs, I will do a love request on YouTube, or at least I'll try it because my device cannot handle a lot. At 100 subs, I will face my fears by going into Python and Baron 898. These are two roller coasters that has to go like at least two times upside down. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.